Feel it. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. Welcome to it. My name is Graham Richards. And I'm Raul Demone. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful Monday as we usher you out of September and into October, I believe. Oh, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a brand new opportunity for us to refresh our lives. Obviously, that feeling of spring now, you can believe it. Um, of course, not the best weather throughout the weekend, but hopefully an opportunity for you to connect with friends. I think South Africa is feeling a lot more social at the moment, if yeah. the socials are anything to go by. <laughs> so hopefully you were able to connect with those you love the most. And if you did have a long weekend, well, good for you. Hopefully you're feeling rested, but it is a brand new week and we're going to jam in as much as we possibly can this morning. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be delving into a lot of weekend sport. Of course, a big one for you tonight. Ooh, it's a big um, one. Kat and myself are going to be having some That's why we've debates. separated them. We've separated them. They're not allowed to be in the same space in the studio together, but Katua Lo is going to be joining me to chew through all of the weekend sporting action and there was Ooh. a lot. All right, and then, of course, uh, we are still choosing what to wear, and it looks like our Jamie hasn't quite figured that out as yet. Good morning, <laughs> gorgeous thing. <laughs> Good morning, you beautiful humans. It's a start to a brand new day, a start to a brand new week. Of course, Jamie Lee Domberg reporting live for duty on this Monday morning. Let's think about it. Fl fresh uh, flowers, suntan lotions. The air is getting warmer. Yes, summer is upon us, giving us all the motivation, all the feels that we need to make a wardrobe statement. And of course, our very own favorite, Nox Mafu, is here to show us just how come through, Mama, looking gorgeous. Thank you so much. For this summer season it's that is upon us. It's time, babe. We have to feel amazing. You look amazing, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much. I'm going to put you on the spot right yes. now. Yes. What is one statement every girl needs in a wardrobe to make that statement for the season? Oh my gosh, okay. No pressure. One thing, the tear dress. This is what I love. Okay. Bold colors and the tear dress. Now this is, this is a statement piece that's like popping up everywhere. It even came through in autumn, but with the pop of color, it really does change an outfit just because it suits everyone. Tear dress, what? What am I talking about? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So tear dress, you probably see it in a lot of your fashion um, runways and also any of your magazines and stuff. It really is a dress in which there are different layers to it, right? Now, what it does is it can come in a very long dress, but what it does, it really does accentuate every part of the body, but really playful in, in a sense, right? So you'll find that a lot of bright colors are associated with it. The polka dot is the actual statement piece for this dress, but it really can suit anyone who's tall or who's short. You can wear it with sneakers or heels. It really is the versatile dress that you need. It's very modern, very trendy, but also has a very great way of being playful while also just having a lot of comfort. I love that you say that, playful and comfort. That's Obviously, um, what we're looking for for this season. Yes. I'm in love already. Okay, I see you've got two dresses, I've got two here. dresses here. Which one would you recommend that I wear today, and maybe why? This is so tough. Okay, so both of these are actually a play on the trend, and what I like about it is the versatility of it, right? So we've got two very different dresses here, but the common thread, obviously, being the tiers that are available. So, like you can see here, the hemline comes in and it repeats over here. We can see it. Ooh. This dress is getting excited for us now. <laughs> it wants to play. It wants to play. And then we've also got the tear dress there in the pink. But this is really, really a play between the polka dots, which I love. I love the arm detail over here. And then, of course, this is a more summer ready thing. But something about today actually makes me like this a bit more. Just because of the sleeve detail, it's very playful, but also a solid one for a Monday morning, I think. I don't, I don't know what to choose. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I love the pop of color. Yes. This one definitely playful as well. But I'm definitely going to go with the polka polka dot one definitely my vibe as well because I am meeting up with friends for lunch after the show amazing and so I can just pop on a sneaker and I'm good to go so exactly so this is what you're going to take Knox, thank you so much for starting this trend with us. Of course, I cannot wait to change into this gorgeous dress. Playful, it's everything. Of course, you two can make a statement this summer with Woolworths. Dresses from only 299 Rand, guys. I mean, what are you waiting for? You can shop it, of course, at Woolworths in-store, online, or on the app. And I am sorted for this Monday morning. Yes, you are, girl. Oh. <laughs>
Hey, Expresso family, it's time for you to get creative and start cooking or baking your family favorites with Snowflake for your chance to win great cash prizes. We want you to share your Snowflake homemade creations and memories with families all around South Africa. Share a photo of your Snowflake homemade recipe using any Snowflake product to our Expresso Facebook or Twitter page. Tell us why this recipe is so special to you and use the hashtag Snowflake Homemade. And three lucky winners will walk away with a grand prize of 5,000 Rand cash each. Mm, create flop-proof homemade happiness and memories with Snowflake. The competition closes the 30th of September 2020 and T's and C's can be found at www.expressoshow.com It's my feel-good breakfast show Happy birthday A very happy birthday to you Hey, a very good morning to you. It's a brand new start <laughs> of a new week and a new day. Thank you so much for choosing to start it off with us right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. When you hear that sound, oh, you know, it's about that time where we wish you, our loved and loyal viewers, a happy birthday. Do you remember the song? Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams Oh, are yes. Us. <laughs> hey, hey now, hey now. Hey now. This is that, my friends, that's exactly how you do it. That is, in fact, uh, getting a birthday wish live on Expresso. The beautiful Hilary Duff is 33 years old today. Now, teens first came to know her as Lizzie McGuire. H Hilary has acted in several feature films and uh, produced a series of successful pop albums. She's all grown up now, married and a mother of two. And we want to wish her a very happy birthday. They grow up so fast, don't they? So we're like, I still see her as Lizzie McGuire. Like, that's yes. the name to me. I don't Literally. know who, who's Hillary Duff Hillary Duff? No. <laughs> now, I'm celebrating you beautiful people. And we're starting off with the dog who's got a birthday. And this message says, Happy 35th birthday to my darling husband, Radar Yoster. May the Almighty grant you many more beautiful years and stay as sweet and loving as you are. And a big, big, big mwah! Happy birthday, Radar. <laughs> I love that. Now, this one uh, goes out to Johanna Slab. Happy 74th birthday to my mom, uh, Johanna Slab. Thank you for everything that you do for us. From Leticia, Lizzo, Lazan, Enrico, and Declan. Happy birthday to you. Uh, now we've got a 31st birthday. Wishing our daughter, Nastienka, a happy 31st birthday. This is love from Maya, your mom, dad, Anish, sister, Ekshana, your hubby, Shenvir, and all your daughters, which are Rhea and Ariadia. And a happy birthday to you. I hope you enjoy your day and may God bless you. I oh, have an incredible one. Happy 29th birthday to my aunt Ruth Saliti. I wish you nothing but the best in your life and I love you so much. And I hope that you enjoy your day. Happy birthday to you, Re oh, Ruth. Ruth, those curls are looking banging. I hope they are sporting <laughs> today on your birthday. And then Nkanyesi Dlamini, I want to thank you, sis, for being the most loving and caring person in the entire entire world. No one understands me better than you and I want to wish you happy birthday Aww. from your loving little brother that's from Bash. Oh, happy birthday to everybody. What a special way to start your week. <laughs> Truly a blessed way to start off your week. Thank you so much for your beautiful messages. Make sure to send through 15 second videos on our WhatsApp to 071 so you can wish your loved ones a happy birthday live on the show. We might even just get them a ring to brighten up their day and make it a happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. But now <laughs> it's time for even more celebrations. Get your 100% goodness with Crush. Scratch and stand the chance to win hundreds of goodness prizes for 100 days with hashtag Crush 100. Made with love by Clover. Yep, we are kicking off this week on a crushing good note. Today is the start of our 100% goodness crush peel and reveal game. So every Monday from now up until the end of the year, literally the whole rest of this year, we will call one lucky viewer live on the show who will stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes, some incredible prizes to be won. And we've got our first contestant on the line right now, Kwaita Zondeka. Kwaita, very good morning. How are you? Morning, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? 
I'm feeling fantastic. Why? Because I get to give you an amazing prize this morning, but it's up to you now to choose one of the blocks to find out, hopefully reveal an amazing prize that you are going to win. 100% crush goodness is up for grabs this morning in our peel and reveal game. So, Koyeta, this is how it's going to work. You'll see on our 100% board over here, we've got blocks that are gray throughout. So, you'll see on the row one, it's D on row two, it's A and H. Can you see across the board all the gray blocks? Those are the blocks okay. that you have to choose from to reveal your amazing prize this morning. So all the way through our board, there are prizes dotted around. Ah, the important choice now is up to you to choose which one of those gray blocks you want me to peel and reveal. Kwaita, where, what are you feeling? Where, where are you tending towards? What's giving you a vibe? Which block would you like me to peel yeah. and reveal? E4. E4. I'm going for E4. E4. I like that vibe. I'm also getting a lot of energy yeah. coming from E4. Let's peel and reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations, you have won yourself what looks like an amazing veggie bullet. It's a beautiful piece of technology. Can I get a round of applause? It's a valuable piece of kitchen tech <laughs> for you this you, morning. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that kind of reaction. Congratulations. We've actually used it on the show. It really is amazing. It's going to make your life in the kitchen so much easier. Congratulations. That's just for you this morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It was a great way to start a week. Thank you so much. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for taking part. Thank you so much for watching the show. And remember, you can always enter again. But congratulations. That's on its way to you. So sit tight. We'll send that prize off. And hopefully you're going to keep watching and play again and maybe have a chance to peel and reveal another amazing prize. But Koyita, have an amazing week. Hopefully this has set you off on just the right note. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it, Mzanzi. It is as simple as that. Our next Peel and Reveal winner will be announced next week, Monday, to kickstart the week. So get entering because it could be you. This is how easy it is to enter. Take a look. Are you ready to stand a chance to win 100% goodness prizes with Crush? 100% you are. 100% goodness winners will be announced daily on Expresso from Monday to Friday from September through December. To enter, buy Crush promo packs, see the back of the label and scratch, and if you find a unique code, dial the USSD number on the pack to stand a chance to win immediate prizes or go into the grand prize draw. If you don't find a unique code, keep buying Crush to find the hidden codes. Crush is 100% fruity, fresh, Fresh, tasty, and refreshing. Made with love by Clover. Wait, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Please repeat that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo. Okay, sharp, got it. All right. What's better than a sugar-coated, deliciously crispy golden brown donut and 100% Arabica beans brewed to perfection? 
Treat yourself and warm up your morning with a little sweetness from Mac Cafe with the all new mini donut and cappuccino offer. A little leaven doesn't have to cost a lot. Great coffee, simple. It's my feel good breakfast show. So I'm going to kickstart the week like I kickstarted the weekend. Rugby, 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 rugby. It's back. Thank you. Thank you so much. South Africa's top rugby teams were in action over a Super Fan Saturday tournament uh, with the Bulls and the Stormers recording wins to kickstart their new campaign. Then a host of other international sports and competitions also continued over the past two days, including uh, the Premier League action. We had England, uh, Indian Premier League as well. Roland Garros is awake again. So we've got a lot of sporting highlights to get through this morning and sports presenter Katua Lo now joins us in studio live in the flesh to tell us more so nice. i think probably even more excited or than say me say hi to everyone um, little miss rugby you <laughs> must have been so happy at the return of south african rugby clearly no signs of rust i think everyone was so pumped yeah. but a very much new look set up for every team that's out there maybe the storm has kind of looked like the team of old yeah. but let's start with the bulls under jake white are clearly going to be a force to be reckoned with. yes and i can't help but see some people underplaying it but i mean it was a legit win yes the second half maybe wasn't as good as the first half but it's a pre-season game so they need to get back into it anyway but they are going to be a menace i think uh, he said he wants a bit of the old school bulls rugby but with a bit of newness so and he's done that well in the first game we could see that first half was just mad. It was bulls, bulls, bulls everywhere. Get the basics right. Scrum's mm -hmm. looking good. Lineouts good, looking good. And you'd expect that when you've got kind of your your senior players, and he's got enough senior players yep. to draw from in terms of that that the stalwarts in that team. But how exciting is the pace? Can we put our hand up for the sevens players that have drafted into 15-man rugby? Flip, there was we'll get onto Van Cock in a moment. What did you make of the pace in that bulls side? Curdly orange, sir. <laughs> Two tries, absolutely fantastic. First game with the Bulls there. Um, and then obviously stalwart Dwayne Vermeulen. And then also Mornay Stane at the age of 36 has kicked all his conversions over. He can definitely, he's on par with the rest of the Oaks. So that's going to be very interesting, the battle at 10, if Andre Pollard is not uh, fit for the British and Irish Lions next year. So will it be Mornay Stane? Will it be Damon Willemser? Will it be Cohen Bosch? Or will it be Elton Yankees? Um, and, and all of them in one way or another put their hand up. Mm. I think Paul Mornay Stane got battered um, yeah. in that, that number 10. Though. Yeah, I know, very much so. And I think the province guys, especially having to play up north, but Vanna Kock was used as a battering ram in that number 10 channel, but he's Mr. Dependable. Yes. He kind of looked like you would expect to see him on a sevens field, but clearly he's a big part of the Sharks' plans. Yes, and I, I mean, we chatted to him before he went to the Sharks, and he was like integral part of their plans. Like Sean Everett, they had virtual meetings. Even Edward Kutsia, the, the CEO, he even picked him up at the airport. So, I mean, he, he's literally a valued uh, member of that team. He's not just the sevens oak and the bigger squad he is going to be a part of that team so uh, it's great what the Sharks have done something magical from the start of the year even since last year Curry Cup as well so it's going to be exciting to see what they do too I just don't think Saturday was their game maybe they're still figuring out some combinations and stuff but I mean it was the Bulls all around and it was also their home turf I mean the Coastal guys as we <laughs> see yeah, they, was out at the end there so it was very um, yeah no, they, were, they were sucking in the air but a great win uh, for the Bulls 49-28 over the Sharks who yeah. were resurgent towards the end there then the Lions um, you talk about a, a, a game of two halves it was a game of two teams. They literally subbed out every player it's on like that field. It's like an NFL with all the, all the players came off at the same time. And then there was like a whole offense. new team. Yeah, like, what the heck? <laughs> um, but they still couldn't overcome the Stormers. 21-34, uh, the Stormers looking fantastic, even though they were a little bit gassed out. So now let's hop across the pond to the English Premier League. Um, some <laughs> exciting results coming out of the weekend. Manchester United saving themselves some blushes against Brighton. Mm. Yeah, and also Chelsea. <laughs> at least uh, salvaging a draw there at the end. Um, but uh, Frank Lampard not happy with his side. And then yesterday, the big drama of the weekend is, of course, VAR and that handball. Um, also, Crystal Palace suffering the same fate as, as Tottenham. And I see all the all the managers are on board saying it's absolutely ridiculous how they interpret that handball. And so basically, if an arm is above the shoulder and it connects with a ball in the box, that's a penalty. And when you could see with uh, Kieran Dyer, that one in particular with, this is Tottenham up against Newcastle, yep. where they literally, it was in injury time. And, and Spurs, not, not the best performance ever, but they were on oh, their way yeah. to a, a valuable point. But it's a trading arm that you can see so at what point 
Can we change the rules? Can you? Can <laughs> it happen at this point in a, if every single person is, is screaming in unison that yeah. the, the rule needs to be abolished or, or rethought at least? Can they do it? It must be. It must be. I mean, at, at the week three, and that is the biggest talking point, is uh, the fact that that were how it's interpreted. And also, Jose Mourinho, obviously, classic Jose, walked <laughs> off before the end. Um, but everyone, all the managers are on board with him. Um, it's just sad to see because it's spoiling the game. Um, so I just think it needs to be relooked at. Um, I don't have an issue necessarily. Necessarily with VAR, I do have an issue with how it's being uh, had the handball rules specifically. And, being yeah, and the refs have no choice; they've got the rules yeah, are the rules. Yeah, the rules. Like and we saw obviously a shock, um, a two-five win for for Leicester. Take nothing away from their performance. Obviously, a massively depleted Man City. Yeah. Um, but Jamie Vardy continues his unbelievable form. Another hat trick against um, Man City. And I was thinking before that these guys are shooing to take take the title this year. But um, but a, a bit of a shock. Yeah, it is. And now they top at the top of the table already. Uh, Man City don't look like they're going to be title contenders just yet this year. I don't know if I don't know what you think but I don't think let's see what they've they lost do. a bit of a, a lot of money yeah. spent but is it going to pay off we'll see uh, Manchester United and Chelsea the first two weeks also didn't look too old Leicester City it's, maybe it's their season again so let's Oof. see it's yeah. just insane Jamie Vardy made his debut I think in 2017 and he's already got like 104 goals behind his name for Le like with Leicester. It's the just flying foxes indeed, fabulous. man. Absolutely love that. And the Royals also in the IPL getting the winner over the Punjab by four wickets. And of course, an exciting start at Roland Garros as well. Um, but we'll wait um, to see uh, the King of Clay. Of course, Rafa Nadal will be taken to the court later today. Kato, it's so good to see you yes. in person. <laughs> so good to be back. You can let us know what you thought of all of the weekend sporting action on the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Thank you so much, G, for that uh, sports update. We truly appreciate it. In the kitchen, right? Of course. Do you watch sports? Uh, my sport is like in the kitchen. <laughs> So that's where I... This is our sports right sport. now. Yeah. But before we get cooking, Woolies has teamed up with the gift of the givers with the aim of distributing one million meals to families who are in need. Now, each food care package is filled with a balance of protein, fresh fruit, vegetables and other staples, as well as hygiene products to help curb the spread of COVID-19. We are so close to reaching that one million meal goal, but we need your help, Mzanzi. As little as 10 Rand can provide one person with three meals for a day. Just scan the the QR code on screen with Snapscan or your banking app and donate Namhlanje. Also make sure that your chomis and your neighbors and colleagues do the same. Any donation can help make a big difference. Now, Mondays might be the busiest day of the week, but with a little prep ahead of time, Clem proves that a delicious bride dinner is only 13 minutes away. Featuring free range lamb chops from this week's daily difference list of savings. Now, these smoky bride lamb chops with uh, charred corn uh, are a sure way to turn a blue Monday into a delicious mouth watering one. Chef Clem, you know I love food, especially on a Monday morning. Oh, absolutely. I could never say no to meat as breakfast. I'm the same. <laughs> right? Like, I mean, I feel like cereal is all cool and all. I feel like it's overrated. But when you start your day on a high and oh. you just have lamb chops for breakfast, what? the only way is up. <laughs> so this is absolutely great and nice and easy one. Mm. So I've convinced my whole family it's okay to bride during the week. Yes. And it is. Because, True. I mean, it's kind of like you're creating that, like, here's right now. Mm -hmm. We start a fire earlier, remember, like, 4 o'clock, and about an hour time, the, the coal's already. Mm -hmm. And everybody just gathers aside a couple of chops. Keep it simple. Mm. Do, like, a lacquer salad, some chops, and then, like, one other main. On the weekends, the story then you hit it with the coleslaw potato salad everything, everything. bean salad yeah green garden salad the works absolutely even with corn and so. this works out really well because everything from daily difference and daily difference is you gonna bring me a pay a <laughs> I was about to be like, how can you do this to me? Right. Thank you so, very much. It's reading time in the kitchen. Mm. The Daily Difference has really come through. I mean, these shops on Daily Difference, mm. the millies on Daily Difference, the butter is on Daily Difference. And now the butter is a big thing. Could you check the price? 59 Rand 99 for the butter. Oh my right. goodness. It is literally what you need to be buying right now for the festive season. You can keep it. You can keep it. So you, saw, you saw something. You saw I'm something. I'm seeing things. How about multiple things? Sir? No, it's really, really amazing. They're coming through. And you see the Bry Festival haven't stopped with Willies. They really? still got all the Bry marinades, all the meats. Check out what's on promo. It's everything you need to carry you straight 
into the festive season because I want to continue the gears. And oh, I'm with please. that. We have to because we come from, you know, a long weekend celebrating our heritage. Mm -hmm. People are out there brying with their families and their friends, hopefully still maintaining social distancing Absolutely. and hygiene practice. But other than that, you know, you are showing us how to continue the gears yeah. at home, even if it's a two-man party, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's all you need. Okay, cool. So what I've got is I've got their lamb rub and the lamb rub is really great. Now, I know it says lamb rub, but I use this on chicken on the braai and it's amazing. That oh. rosemary comes through so well. I've also used this for crushed potatoes. You know, I melted, I took this, a little bit of butter, melted it in the pot, and I popped that over crushed potatoes. Yum. It was amazing. And let so, it sit for a bit. Oh, let it sit for a little bit and you're happy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Talking about sitting for a little bit, I'm using leg of lamb chops today. Mm. Now, when you just rock up and you be like, yo, I want lamb chops, that's still good. Mm. But when you come through and you're like, no, 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 I want a loin chop, I want mm. a leg of lamb, my people. That's my your people. people. I'm just, I want chops. Okay, so if you like meat, meat, yes. meat, meat, you're going to want to go for a leg of lamb chop. Okay. Okay, you can see it's got that beautiful bone in the middle, and then it's got this beautiful thick cut. And that's mm. meat. Meat, it's just meaty. It's meat. But the difference is you can understand the leg of lamb, mm. it works a little more, right? Because you never see it like, lambs and sheep just chilling oh, they're always like, busy yeah right so it's a little tougher but there's tricks and ways to make it nice and tender Softer. and it loves the bride let me just turn this over real quick how long have you had that on the on the stove now it's been literally about five minutes aside mm. but like it's perfect i actually turned it cross i was going to get those cross hatches on there mm -hmm. but you want to get a nice char in it mm. lamb likes a nice char flavor so my tip to actually let in the like is to always marinate ahead of time marinate or season ahead of time so what i do is i take my thick lamb chops I put a, a, a rub on it, and the longer it sits on there, it kind of tenderizes the meat mm. and kind of penetrates the meat with all those delicious rosemary flavors. It smells like a brine mm. here because of like all these beautiful spices and the lamb, because lamb's fat gives off a lot of the actual scent and flavor of the lamb. So and cool, we that goes. That. We want that. We want all of that and more. So okay, you take this, be generous with it. It's a thick cut of meat, mm. and then you just make sure everybody gets, everybody in the party gets like a nice bit <laughs> of that rub, and you let it chill. I even do this the day before. I was and about to ask, yeah. when exactly do you marinate and put your spices in so that it's thick and it's yeah. all soaked in? If it's, a, if it's a loin chop, which is a lot more tender, mm -hmm. Like a little bit before the bra is fine, like a few minutes, half an hour, you chill. Mm. But the leg of lamb, because it's a thicker cut of meat, yeah. tougher cut of meat, it loves sitting in that spice. Because okay. then it breaks down, it takes up so much extra flavor. And you also see some of the moisture comes out of the, of the lamb, which is good. You mm. want that. Because when you do bra, you don't do oil. That's no. one thing about bra. You take out like the natural, like the, you cook the meat as is. And with that extra bit of like moisture outside, you get the serious crust, which mm. is a definite thing. It's a must. I okay. never actually thought about that. You don't bra with oil. Yeah, that's why, Duh. that's why we love it so much. It is a healthier option, mm. no extra, extra oil. Okay, cool. So that's doing its thing. So someone said they, they love glazed chops. There's actually a social media question. Mm. They love glazed chops, but they always end up burning their chops. Yes. And it's 100%, I totally understand why. It's because you're adding your glaze too soon. So when the glaze added? Closer to the end, because there's a lot of sugars and other bits going on in here, right? Yeah. And the idea of the glaze is to reduce this glaze onto the meat, it becomes sweet and sticky and delicious. Mm. So once you have this beautiful char and 90% of the cooking is done, that's when you go on with the glaze. Oh, wow. Well, I'm learning something today because I am one of those people who burns the meat by putting the glaze way ahead of time. Okay. I actually put it with the spice. As I spice my oh, meat, oh, oh. that's when I put See, it. Now so you've learned. Now your labola just went up by 50 G. <laughs> I mean, that's just literally what it's about. Are you going to be part of the negotiations to let Dude. them about the preparations that went into me knowing things about the kitchen? I'm out here trying to up labola rates. That's all I'm doing. That's okay? all I'm talking about, okay. yeah. So, we got some corn. All I did was I blanched it first, and then I put it on the braai, and that's going to get nice and charred. Oh. I, people say you can put it straight on raw onto the braai, I find that it gets a lot sweeter mm. when you blanch it in salted water first. Okay. Then you put it under the grill and you get a lot more sweetness coming through, popping in your mouth. Mm. So that's my tip then. If you want to add a little extra flavor, all I'm going to do is melt some butter, okay. some garlic, some lemon zest and juice mm. and the braai seasoning. Okay. You make hot chips at home. Yes. Don't worry about the salt. That's this the answer. This on your hot chips with a little bit of vinegar. Mm. Everyone's happy. Plug right Wanna there. Want to take it home? Of course. I'm like, I'm like, Father Christmas coming through early. <laughs> I'm just handing things out. I'm like, that's all I'm doing. How about Oprah? I'm oh. like, I'm feeling like Oprah. It's almost Christmas. Okay, cool. So super right. simple. Butter goes in the pot. 
that starts melting, hit it with the garlic. Garlic and corn. People don't, do people don't season the corn enough? Mm. Get like a nice amount of um, seasoning on there? I feel like I'm talking a lot this morning, but I got energy for, like, coming through <laughs> on a Monday. We all have energy. I think it's the excitement for the, la um, the chops. It is. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that zest. Get a little bit of that juice in there. Please. Don't forget the braai seasoning. Once it's all um, melted together, okay. start brushing that beautiful garlic butter over your corn. Mm -hmm. Happiness. Happy, and you serve it with a happy, simple salad. Happy. That is enough for Monday. I and love that's the best it. Monday. Thank you so much, Chef Clem, for always showing us around the kitchen and being the plug to the daily difference. Make sure to head out there and treat yourself and your family. Now, if you would like a recap of how we got to this, make sure to head on over to our website, expressoshow.com. Cadbury Dairy Milk Glass and a Half Project presents There's a Story in Everyone. Visit cadbury.co.za forward slash story time for more information on how to share your inspirational story. It's my feel good breakfast show. Ah, you're still locked in at your feel good breakfast show. And as we usher you into this beautiful week, we are talking about the future, an aspiring future for inspiring minds. And now the College of Cape Town celebrated its 18th birthday earlier this year and celebrates great success by offering accredited career orientated vocational and occupational programs. And now the principal of the College of Cape Town, Mr. Louis Fanikek, joins us this morning to tell us more about these incredible offerings. Mr. Louis, how are you doing this morning? Good morning, fine, thank you. <laughs> great to have you with us. Um, and congratulations on the 18th year yeah. um, of existence of the College of Cape Town. And you yourself have been there for quite a number of, year, of, of those years, if not all of them. Most of them, yes. <laughs> from, from the origin, I'm, I've been there and it was a wonderful journey yeah. up to now. Excellent. Now, now, the college is one of the largest TVET colleges yep. in South Africa. Um, tell us a bit more about the campuses and your vision for the institution. I think the vision for our in institution is to be the number one TVET institution in South Africa. Mm -hmm. But we, 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 we get that through, through our students' excellence. And uh, we built that 
on basically looking at academic excellence, first of all, student uh, support that we can get the student support, also partnerships, governance and all those things. But ultimately, we say that we are as strong as our staff and our students. Mm -hmm. And the stronger they are, the stronger we are. In terms of our campuses and what we offer, yes, we offer a wide range of, of uh, vocational as well as uh, occupational qualifications. Um, it, it, it's a range from starting from business studies, uh, hospitality, hair care, beauty, uh, ICT, information technology, primary health, and an array of engineering studies that we offer at the college, the various campuses. We've got eight campuses that we deliver. Uh, basically, it is, it is within the central metropolitan area of Cape Town. Um, Ranging from Guguletu on the one side, where we have our, uh, or our Guguletu campus, or originally the Sevelli College, and you raised, or you, you mentioned, uh, we are 18 years. That 18, we actually started by uh, having a merge of four very proud institutions 18 years ago. The Sevelli College, which is in Guguletu, the Athlone Technical College, and the Cape College, and also the Western Province Technical College, and we merge into one, the College of Cape Town at the moment. So to continue with our delivery sites, we've got eight delivery sites throughout the central metropolitan area of Cape Town. Uh, yeah, it is Guguletu, Crawford, the old Hewitt College, Probably a lot of viewers know Hewlett College with a uh, very uh, rich history, mm -hmm. uh, is one of our main campuses. Then we've got one in the city, uh, Pinelands and Thornton campus, also in Weinberg, where we actually offer occupational beauty and therapy mm -hmm. programs at uh, Weinberg campus. Excellent. Oh, Louis, it sounds like you're offering an incredible amount of, I'd just say, upskilling uh, of the sort. And it sounds like you guys have been around for quite quite some time now. And over the last few, let's say five years at least, uh, there must be some incredible success stories that have come out of the college. Do you have any you can share with us? I think, yes, there's, a, there's quite a lot, but I think the number one success story is our students. Mm -hmm. The success of our students. Mm -hmm. We are so proud when they walk that stage, uh, when our, we have a graduation ceremony, it really, it is inspiring. But over and above that, we were awarded by the Minister of Higher Education and Training, the, the most innovative uh, managed and uh, uh, governed institution, TVET College in South Africa, wow. that is one of the the big awards that we got from that. We've also been uh, high uh, ranked in the, in the social media, mm -hmm. also by the department in terms of our students following students. Mm -hmm. And lately we've been awarded the, the, the coolest college uh, in South Africa oh. <laughs> uh, by the Sunday Times uh, Next Gen uh, Award. And that was That's really cool. a celebration. <laughs> and that is what our students are saying from us. And we are the company of uh, the University of Cape Town, which is the, the, the coolest university in, in South Africa. Those are just one or two of the, the more important ones that come off the mind now. Great to have that <laughs> feedback. And of course, I think a lot of us are looking to just get out of 2020 and into 21. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the admissions for 2021 yeah. are now open. So yeah. where can uh, potential students gain access to all of the information, applications, and yeah. all of those kinds of things? I want to urge students to really make a serious application. Mm -hmm. We're going to have number problems next year. We have very limited seats available for next Next year, so I would like to urge the students to visit our website as well as our social, uh, our, our Facebook, mm -hmm. and get all the information there. And please, students, it is not a matter that finance will keep you. NISFAS is there to support our learners. We also have bursaries and other bursaries from CETAS and so forth to support our learners. But you have to be serious about your future yeah. as well as uh, early. Don't, don't snooze. You're going to lose if you snooze. Apply now. Apply Absolutely. now. <laughs> yeah. And then just a very quick final message to your college partners. I'm sure that they've played a very vital role um, over the past couple of years. Our partners in what since uh, our Th those who have made it possible for the college to be there. I mean, you mentioned the oh, the staff. Yes, yeah. we've got excellent staff, and one of our uh, uh, um, let's say our driving forces is to unlock the potential not only of our students but also to our staff. Mm -hmm. And they've been doing excellent work, and they're passionate about their work. And uh, uh, 
Yeah, and even during this lockdown period, if you hear what, what, what our staff is what we're doing to our students, mm. not in terms of academic only, but in terms of motivating them and going forward. Yeah. Oh, Louis Fanny Kerk, thank you so much for joining us this morning, the principal of Cape yes, Town College. Uh, it's an absolute honor, and I think it's just an important message that you're sharing for everyone. You have a dream, don't let anything hold you back, and I think Cape Town College can support that dream, regardless of the finance or anything else, but uh, it's inspiring to know this, that Cape Town strives to provide high quality education to training and also to equip yourself with the qualifications and skills you need to start out on a chosen career path and for those that are interested inspire your mind and check out the college of cape town at your future destination you can check them out on their website or their social medias of course and once again louis thank you so much for joining us this morning man thank you it was an honor for me being here and of course higher education is not only being promoted in cape town but also in kwazulu natal now, our next guest has a, such a long list of accomplishments that I think every single one of them could probably warrant their own interview in its own right. We are talking about Professor Trisha Nyker. She's the youngest associate professor of the University of KwaZulu-Natal and the youngest academic leader of discipline for pharmaceutical sciences. In 2011, she won the Department of Science and Technology Woman in Science Doctoral Fellowship, which then led to her being able to study in a facility in Denmark, becoming the first African to be accepted there. Oh, how incredible. In 2017, uh, she was appointed to serve as an editor for the South African Journal of Chemistry. And this year, she's been awarded the prestigious 2020 Rakes Medal by the South African Chemical Institute. There's a lot more that she's done, a lot more. <laughs> That's only the beginning, me. yeah. Honestly, yes. But of course, we'll let the professor do all the talking and tell us more about her work and accomplishments. Tricia, Professor Tricia, <laughs> good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Um, Nothing like having your, your, your CV, your life kind of summated in one introduction and I, I have a feeling that we've barely begun to, to scratch the surface but maybe a good starting point for us is for you to tell us a little bit more about your current research. What are you working on right now and how does that impact society? To keep it simple, <laughs> antibiotic drugs kill certain types of bacteria. Now, over time, bacteria can change to develop resistance to these antibiotics. This is called antibiotic resistance. It is one of the most serious problems facing modern medicine and surgery. So currently, my research group and I are working on a series of molecules to help fight this worldwide problem of antibiotic resistance. So you're saving the world, basically, basically. is what you're saying is yeah. you're saving the in, world, in, Professor. And <laughs> you're saying it very modestly. Uh, but of course, your latest award, the prestigious 2020 Rakes Medal by the South African Chemical Institute, that is amazing. I mean, honestly, how meaningful is it to you and uh, well, what does it recognize? This award recognizes a member of the Institute that's under the age of 40 whose chemical research uh, shows outstanding promise. And this is based on the work being published in reputable journals. So it's meaningful to me because I achieved it much before the age of 40. And what makes it more significant is that the decision is made by expert senior peers in my field. Yeah, there's nothing quite, quite like getting the nod or a tip mm. of the hat from, from people that you really do respect. Mm. I, I've got to ask, what led you to this? Because I, I would assume that you could have gone in many different directions looking at, at the future that's been laid out in front of you. Why specifically this area of research? And maybe you can tell us a bit more about the journey that's led you to this point. Well, you know, this was an evolutionary process. It started by me taking a liking to the subject of chemistry at school, which led me to pursue my undergraduate studies in pure chemistry. I then continued my postgraduate studies in more applied chemistry. And now as an academic part of a much bigger research team with the relevant skills and resources, I specialize in synthetic method development chemistry, which allows me to be in the field of drug discovery. Wow. And look at our faces. I know. <laughs> um, what is it about drug discovery specifically that gets you so excited? Apart from the fact that I can control molecules on a molecular level, <laughs> I know that my research has a direct impact on society or will have a direct impact on society. Mm. I love that. But seeing that outcome and how it, it impacts life as we know it. But of course, you're also the youngest associate professor at UKZN. <laughs> uh, you've published 100 papers in highly respected journals. You also serve as an editor for the South African Journal of Chemistry. That's just an extension of your resume that we sort of listed our outline <laughs> in the beginning. But so, so much accomplishment and so much that you have accomplished. Uh, that must feel special, hey? Well, it feels really good, but I don't think it makes me special. 
I, I, I really believe anyone having focus and dedication to complete their tasks despite the inevitable challenges can achieve their goals. But in addition to that, you know, none of my achievements would be possible without my team. I have a team of encouraging mentors and expert collaborators. So what's what's the next phase of, of your trajectory, if you will? What are you hoping to get out of this current research? Is there a tangible goal that you have in mind that, that you're now starting to approach? And moving forward, what are you what are you still setting your sights on accomplishing? Well, my, my, my biggest hope is that I hope our research will pass the many stages of drug development and eventually save lives. What more I would like to accomplish, you know, I would really like to train the students that pass through my laboratories to be critical thinkers and problem solvers so that they too can contribute to a better society. Oh, such such wonderful goals as well. It's about, I think, community and building that community even further, right? Oh, completely. The work that you're doing clearly has an impact on society. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for wanting mm. to impart that, that knowledge and the way that you think and feel about your work onto the next generation as well. I have a feeling that those that come through your laboratory are incredibly fortunate to do so. So thank you so much and all the best of luck. Go and save the world. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, that was Professor Tricia Nek, of course, Associate Professor at UKZN. And congratulations wow. to you, Tricia, on all so your impressive. accomplishments. <laughs> really, such an impressive uh, young lady. And of course, uh, all the important work that she's been doing, really such notable work. And of course, that's uh, uh, work coming out of the UKZN and really just reaching out to the rest of the world, surely. Inspiring stuff on this Monday morning and we continue to be proud of all these achievements that we see all across the country, uh, especially as we look towards, you know, things like reopening the economy and building yeah. a new, not only South Africa, but African economy that can stand proudly among the big economies of the world. Eh? This is Absolutely. really, really great stuff. Absolutely. And right now, we also have some good news. Mm -hmm. We have indeed. Uh, we have 40,000 Rand, in fact, in cash up for grabs, courtesy of our friends at Nedbank. And we're looking for our next six winners to win their share of the price. Exciting times. Now to win 2,500 Rand in instant cash, you need to spend 500 Rand or more on your Nedbank check or credit card and SMS the keyword, which is Nedbank, to 33728 to register your entry. But if you open a new Nedbank account online and spend 500 Rand or more, Nedbank will then double your price to 5,000 Rand. Insane. Right? Yeah, so it's as easy as spending as little and standing the chance of winning a lot. Remember, the competition ends on the 18th of October and all SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50. And terms and conditions can be found on our website, which is, of course, expressoshow.com. Okay. So I'm chatting to Umalume Mosa here. He's owned a small clothing factory for years now and he's always inspired me with his success. But like a lot of businesses, this lockdown's hit him hard. So he spoke to his banker and they've put together a tailor-made relief solution for him to help his business and his people get through this. Making your bank your business partner, that's a habit worth keeping.
Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. As we go back out onto the track for a lot of successes from a South African perspective, young Darren Binder, who is, of course, the younger brother of South African MotoGP star, is a brand Binder, of course. He won his maiden Moto3 race yesterday after starting in 20th place on the grid in the Catalan Grand Prix. An incredible feat in Barcelona. Brad finishing just outside of the top 10 and, of course, uh, in 11th place in the Premier Class race and then in Formula 1. Valtteri Bottas is back on top. He took victory at the Russian Grand Prix ahead of Max Verstappen and defending world champion, of course, Lewis Hamilton. Our motorsports writer, Dane Hansen, is here. He has left whatever far-flung place um, that we have connected with him over the last couple of weeks, and he is live in studio. So good to connect with you in person, right? Thank you. It's good to be back. No um, longer jet sensing. Um, really, really good. Sorry that we don't have a, a Catalonian <laughs> uh, background for you this morning, but let's start with the Russian Grand Prix first off. Um, let's start with the penalty. Obviously, a massive talking point. Hamilton's rather unusual penalty. What went on? It's quite unusual. Um, so during a race weekend, the drivers don't really have many opportunities to practice their race starts. But before a race, you've got three opportunities. So practice one, two, and three, and then you have your reference laps before the actual race itself. So uh, managing a race start is very complicated. So when you're in the car, in the footwell, you've got your go pedal and your stop pedal, but your clutch pedals are actually, there are two of them behind the steering wheel. So there's a lot of coordination that you need to try and fathom. Uh, and Lewis was wanting to, to do a couple of practice starts before the race. Uh, you need to do them in a safe area. And the FIA, the stewards, they designate a safe area. He did two of those starts outside of the area, collecting a five second penalty for each. Nasty man, what you don't need, um, and especially when your teammate then goes on to, to take top spot on the podium. What does Bottas' victory mean for the, the championship? Is it spicing things up a little bit or is it a bit of a moot point? I think it does. I think it's important on a number of levels. You know, it's, it's great for Bottas, firstly. I mean, he, he needs that mental kick. He's, he's had a couple of struggles in the last few races. Um, and then if we just look at the, the championship, that with Lewis finishing third, that's a, it's a bite out of the championship that's worth at least 10 points now. Uh, going forward, it's, it's just the kind of confidence that you want to carry into each race. Uh, so certainly for Bottas' his mood, his, his whole mindset, that's fantastic. And it's great for the fans. It's great for viewers. Um, and it's great for the team. Surely they do want a bit of that rivalry as much as, you know, we talk a lot about the instructions that are going through and, and they will favour, obviously, their, their reigning world champion who's now pushing to take that title. But it's got to be good. Having that kind of competition has got to spur them on. Exactly. You know, I think it, it's it's always a bit of a balancing act. When you've got two drivers in a team, one of them's uh, stronger than the other, it's, it, it, it almost favours the team because they, they know where to put their resources. At the same time, if their top driver is going to get beaten, it might as be, it, it might as, <laughs> might, might as well take be all the their, points, yeah. their, other, their other driver, uh, not someone else from another team. Um, we've spoken a lot about him this season. I keep talking about the, the maturity of young Max Verstappen. That seems to be the difference between this season and last. We've always known the talent is there, but now his race management seems to be on par. It's been spot on. I think he's, he's an opportunist um, in terms of just his outright pace. Let's take a look at qualifying on Saturday. That was blitz. If you think about it, he's, he's in a car that's... Uh, got a little bit more drag than the Mercedes. He's got the Honda power unit, which obviously doesn't pack as much punch down the straights. So to be able to, to finish where he finished on Saturday was incredible. And then to follow through with that on Sunday uh, is also an exceptional feat. A fantastic level of maturity. Now let's shift gears and onto two wheels. Uh, the Catalonia GP results. Fabio Quattraro, a tearful Fabio on the top of the podium. A great weekend for Yamaha. It's been fantastic. So uh, it was uh, 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 a Yamaha lockout uh, on Saturday, so we had the top three guys there were all riding Yamahas. Um, but looking at Quattararo, this victory definitely meant a lot to him. So he was starting second. Morbidelli is a strong rider himself, and uh, he needed to battle past there. But it was such a mature uh, ride from Quattararo. We knew before the weekend even started that time management was going to be a big, big factor to, uh, to, to consider. And the maturity of his ride was exceptional. And I think it's, it's a sign of, of things to come, of great things to come. I think you would win a lot of money if, if you put your, your bets down on Quattararo being a future MotoGP world champion. Uh, this season? <laughs> hopefully, you know, for him, hopefully for him. Um, it's, it's been a bit of a yo-yo season for a lot of the riders. You know, Davizioso was coming into this race on top and now he's fourth. So there's, 
I think it's wide open. I would say it's, it's, you'd be safe putting your money on at least three different riders. Which is what we want for yeah. the sport. And then uh, young Darren Binder, of course, taking his Moto 3P3 uh, win this weekend. Definitely, we want to see both of them in the premier class. Yeah, it was, it was an electric performance. And, and again, you know, in any sport, as soon as you take your first victory, you're just going to be carrying that confidence through with you. And it's obviously a, a part of the, the Binder genetic code, having success uh, in, in MotoGP, uh, in Moto3. So the next stage, for, or the next step rather, for Darren is to get into Moto2 and then hopefully into MotoGP. And I think, if I'm correct, that makes it that would make it three sets of brothers in MotoGP wow. top flight. So we, we got the Marquez brothers, Espargaros, and then hopefully the Binders, the Binders. In not too long. It's written in the stars, my friend. Dane Hansen, so good to have you join us again Thank live and in the flesh you can let us know as always how you're feeling we're looking for those super fans out there if you love your motorsport let us know on the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page we might invite you in for a little bit of a chat as well now smooth or not smooth has become part of our everyday lingo when a friend does something awesome or sends me a cool song I respond with smooth smooth <laughs> indeed now when my friend my phone went on a frenzy on Saturday night uh, it was after that earthquake which happened down here in Cape Town my response was not so smooth not smooth <laughs> at all now did you know that uh, we can actually use smooth or not smooth stickers to respond on whatsapp Tropica picked up the train and launched the smooth and not smooth stickers this past weekend and this is how you can get there all right so it's simple so step one is you've got to download the sticker maker app on the app store or google play right and then step two is you follow the link to the hashtag tropica stickers on the facebook and instagram app which can be found on tropicas and of course expresso's social pages and then download the stickers to your phone and then step three you open the sticker maker app and add the hashtag tropica stickers and then lastly step four is you click add to watch so you can start chatting simple as that <laughs> and as easy as that you will have smooth and not smooth stickers to use as replies in your whatsapp chats so a good reason to use that smooth sticker right now is as a reaction to this week's grand prize and those are weekly grand prizes coming at you and this week's friday two tropica consumers who bought tropica and entered stand a chance to be called to flip a cap for a smooth 43 inch samsung serif tv Oh my oh. goodness, that is exciting. Now, <laughs> All you got to do, of course, is yeah, buy your any Tropica packs and your promotional pack with a red cap, flip the cap, and if you find smooth underneath the cap, then you stand a chance of winning. And if you don't find smooth, then try flipping another cap right up until you do. Now, once you find smooth, then follow the details on the pack to stand a chance of winning smooth instant prizes such as headphones, mobile phones, travel start vouchers, return local flights, watches, sunglasses, and so on. Oh, those prizes are insane. Plus, you stand a chance of going into the draw to win that weekly grand prize, which is live on Expresso every Friday by flipping a cap on our wall till you find smooth. Yes. Now, remember, <laughs> this Friday, you will be flipping the caps for a Samsung TV. So get your Tropica to enter. The more Tropica you buy and find smooth, the more chances to win. T's and C's can be found on tropica.co.za. Nice. That was smooth. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you smooth or not smooth? Buy Tropica. Flip the cap. If you find smooth, you stand a chance to win smooth prizes. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Thanks very much, guys. It's just gone 7 o'clock on this Monday morning. Here's a look at the news headlines. On the national news headlines front, the Western Cape government said yesterday no reports of casualties or damages to infrastructure were reported after a strong magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck approximately 1,600 kilometers southeast of the country on Saturday evening. No tsunami warning was issued. Now, following the event, tremors were felt in various Western Cape suburbs. The Council for Geoscience has urged the public not to panic as there are no imminent threats to public safety. Local Minister of Environmental Affairs Anton Bradell uh, added that Southern Africa is on a very stable fault line, which means the risk for earthquakes and tsunamis is minimal.
Now, the Gauteng placement of grade 1 and grade 8 learners for the 2021 academic year is expected to commence on Thursday. In a statement yesterday, Gauteng Education MEC Panyazali Sufi said the placement and admissions process are scheduled to end on the 30th of November. Learners receiving offers of placement from Thursday have seven days to accept the offers, after which it would be forfeited. Lesufi added that the number of early applications was low compared to previous years. A total of 255,735 learners had applied for grades 1 and 8. On the international news front, some 15,000 Maasai, Maasai men from across Kenya and neighboring Tanzania congregated in the Maparasha Hills, 128 kilometers from Nairobi in the past week for a once-in-a-decade ceremony to turn warriors into elders. Now, the men clad in red and purple shawls and with their heads coated in red ochre were accompanied by their wives who sang songs praising and encouraging the incoming group of elders. They feasted on an estimated 3,000 bulls and 30,000 and goats and sheep. Now there are about 1.2 million Maasai in Kenya. Now in other news, Sir David Attenborough has broken actress Jennifer Aniston's record for the fastest time in reaching a million followers on Instagram. The 94-year-old naturalist's followers count raced to seven figures in four hours, 44 minutes on Thursday, according to Guinness World Records. His debut post, Saving Our Planet, is now a communications challenge. In his first video, he said he's exploring this new way of communication because the world is in trouble. He said, quote, continents are on fire, glaciers are melting, Coral reefs are dying. Fish are disappearing from oceans. The list goes on and on. Saving our planet is now a communications challenge. And next, a world first all the way from Cambodia, Southeast Asia. A medal awarded on Friday lauded the life-saving animal bravery and devotion to duty for work detecting landmines in Cambodia to, wait for it, a five-year-old African giant poached rat called Magawa. Magawa is the first rat to receive the award, a PDSA gold medal bestowed by a British charity recognizing acts of civilian animal bravery and heroism globally. Now, the medal has been awarded to over 30 animals so far, all of them dogs. Magawa has discovered 39 mines and 28 pieces of unexploded ordinances and helped to clear the more, more than 1.5 million square feet of land over the past four years. Larger than the average rodent, Magawa is part of the Hero Rat initiative run by a Belgian non-profit concern which works across Southeast Asia and Africa, training rats to save lives by detecting landmines and tuberculosis. Now his main handler describes him as friendly and hardworking, very quick and decisive, and crazy about taking a nap during a break. When he's not on the minefield, two-foot-long Magawa loves snacking on bananas, peanuts and watermelons, and taking a spin on a running wheel. Well, on that note, hopefully that story put a big smile on your face. That's it for the news right now. Let's take a look at what's happening in your weather for this Monday. Thank you so much, Kat, for the news update. Now it's time for us to have the first look at the weather this morning. Now the sad news is that the weekend is over, but the good news is we have beautiful sunrise to make way for a brand new day and brand new week. We start off this morning with Pumele Longa's sunrise picture captured in Peter Maritzburg. Now I expect some showers today with 30% chance of rain and a maximum of 14 degrees. Nick Lombard captured our attention with this image of daybreak in Luri's Fontaine, Northern Cape. You will enjoy clear sky with temperatures reaching a maximum of 18 degrees. Now, thank you both so much for your stunning sunrise pictures. I hope that you at home also continue to share sunrise pictures on our social media platforms and we will show them live on the show. Now, the Western Cape's largest dam, the V. Vatterskluf near Veli's Dorp has begun to overflow for the first time in almost a decade. Last week, it surpassed the 99% uh, capacity mark, and with co continuous heavy showers, the dam reached the 100% mark on Friday. The past weekend saw further downpours, and the forecast is for even more rain in the upcoming week. By the end of the 2017 dry season, the V. Vatterskluf had declined to a, a level of 12.9%, with the last 10% mostly unreachable. Now, in the late August of this year, another Another big dam, the Clan William Dam on the West Coast, also reached its capacity and two of the dam's 13 sluices were open to release tons of water into the Olifants River, mainly for agricultural usage. Now, meanwhile, light snow has begun uh, recorded, has been recorded rather on the Madresberg at the Prince Alfred Hamlet near Ceres, as well as on the Brandfacht Mountain outside Wooster in Boerland. 
Now let's bring it back with the temperatures for the day. It will be a fine and warm day across the country. A mostly sunny day for Bologuane with a low of 12 degrees reaching a high of 26. Expect some showers in Bombela with 55% chance of rain. Pretoria will peak at 26 uh, degrees today and uh, some hazy sunshine in Johannesburg with a maximum of 24 degrees. Mahikeng 527, Klerksdorp 225. It's a warm day in Kimberley with a maximum of 20 degrees. Bloemfontein, your temperatures range from 1 to 21. A rainy day with 60 percent chance of rain in Richards Bay, 1422. A rainy day also to be expected in Peter Maritzburg with a low of 8 degrees and a high of 14. South Africa's playground, 68 percent chance of rain with low Cool temperatures 13, 17, and cool temperatures are expected at Mtata with a low of 4, reaching a high of 17. East London 12, 21, a partly cloudy day in Cradock 2, 20. The friendly city does expect a maximum of uh, 19 degrees. And George 9, 17 are your temperatures for this Monday morning. A partly sunny day with showers in Cape Town with 40% chance of rain and a maximum of 18 degrees. Vusta 4, 7, Sunderland starts off the day with a chilly minus 4 reaching a high of 13 and Uppington cool temperatures with a low of 2 degrees and will reach an afternoon temperature of 22 degrees. Now that was a look at your weather this Monday morning. Now remember, whichever part of the country you're in, whatever the weather, make sure to have yourselves a feel-good kind of day. So now if your dog already knows a few of the cool tricks in the book, like how to sit, maybe how to give paw, then you are going to enjoy our daily tip where dog trainer Karis Nafti shows us how to teach our dogs to sit pretty. Hi, I'm Karis. Today I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to do a trick called sit pretty, where they sit up like a little meerkat. Helping me today is Lyric, who's my beautiful assistant. So the trick I'm showing you today is this one. Lyric, pretty. Good girl. So to get this behavior from your dog, start first while they're in a sit position and take a treat and just bring it slightly back so that their front feet come up off the ground. In the beginning, reward the dog even if they lift their toes just a millimeter off the ground. This trick can be a little bit difficult because dogs have to learn how to balance. So you need to be really patient with this and practice frequently so that their hips and their back get strong. When you're teaching a dog a trick like sit pretty, practice it and emphasize on getting the dog's body in the right position. It's less important the word that you say. Some people focus on repeating the command over and over and over again, but this doesn't help the dog learn. Their body has to physically be capable of what you're asking and then add the command at the end of the process. Lyric, pretty. Good girl. Flea and tick-free dog is a happy dog. Protect your dog from harmful parasites with NexGuard Spectra's Tasty Chewables. Did you know your dog needs to take just one NexGuard Spectra chew once a month to treat and prevent the broadest range of troublesome parasites, including ticks, fleas, mites, and various worms. NexGuard Spectra can be given with or without food to puppies as young as eight weeks and to dogs of all sizes and breeds. NexGuard Spectra is the tasty chew you can trust and the treat your dog will love. Thank you so much, Karis. Now, if you've noticed that uh, Jared Ricketts has been sitting pretty himself in a beautiful hoodie, you might be the person walking away with one this morning. That's on the way next. It's one for the book readers and the book eaters. One for the construction workers and their helpful ones. One for the laundry sorters and the laundry hoarders. Whoever the dog member of your family, big or small, new NextGuard Spectra, the broad spectrum monthly chew that protects inside and out in one easy step. NextGuard Spectra, just one chew, so easy for you.
Yes, and it's a Monday morning right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, earlier on this month, a man of many, many a talents, uh, Jared Ricketts launched his testimony clothing brand and decided to give away a hoodie to one lucky Expresso viewer if they commented on Expresso's Facebook page suggesting a song for him to sing this morning. Now, Esmeralda van Us, all the way from Stamfontein Village, is that lucky winner. And she joins us now via video call. I'm alongside Jared right now. Good morning, Esmeralda. Morning. Oh, it is so good to see you. Happy Monday. And congratulations on winning Jared's brand new hoodie. How do you feel about that? Come on, a round of applause. <laughs> Oh, oh man, we are so happy for you. It is such a cool hoodie and I'm sure you're going to love it, especially with these fluctuating temperatures in Cape Town. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. Esmeralda, uh, so um, you said that you want Jared to sing a particular song this morning. Which song was that? Um, and why did you choose that song for Gospel Monday? Great is our faithfulness. Ah, and why did you choose that song? Oh, that song has so much meaning for me. I've been through a trying time this year and that team has really brought us through the year. My husband passed away of cancer in January and that is actually my all-time favorite team, which we also sang at the funeral. So when I feel a bit down, I just go back to that one and play it and it makes me feel much better. Thank you. Oh, that is, thank you very much for sharing that with us. And uh, it's my firm hope that when you hear Jared singing it earlier or later on, that it'll truly fill you with a beautiful spirit um, of just comfort and love. And thank you very much for taking part in the competition. Jared, I'm sure that you've got something special to share with Esmeralda. Esmeralda, I just want to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for um, watching Expresso. And also, uh, just, ju just thank you for, for sharing that story. I think that's what testimony is all about. Uh, where we start sharing our stories, we take our power back. And that's when it becomes our testimony. And your story is going to uplift somebody else out there. So thank you for that. Thank you for entering. And I um, hope that you enjoy the hoodie. <laughs> Oh, I love amazing. it! That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Esmeralda, all the way from Stanfontein Village, being the winner of that Jared Ricketts testimony hoodie. Listen, what's happening right now? Uh, are there still hoodies available? Woo! So we've got about 20 hoodies left in store. 20? Yeah, yeah, it's been a great success. And thanks to Expresso for, for helping me uh, launch the hoodie. Um, I won't give you the number, but we've, we've, we've really exceeded expectations. So um, thank you to South Africa for supporting. And in fact, internationally, we've, we've had to ship some hoodies out as well. Online orders, uh, which has been really awesome. So we're working on the next uh, item from Testimony. Very excited about that. So watch social media and hopefully on Expresso we can launch the next uh, product who knows we are here for you we're here for you thank you very much and of course you at home stay tuned to your feel good breakfast show for that performance from jared ricketts coming up a little bit later on as he regales us with his rendition of great is thy faithfulness Thank you so much, uh, Jared, and congratulations, Esmeralda. Now, um, this Thursday is our final prize draw, and one lucky viewer will be spinning our Buy Smart virtual wheel of prizes to stand a chance of winning either that queen size bed, a fridge, which has gone, I think, three or four times now, a uh, washing machine, or even a smartphone. And last week's lucky winner, Molly Stonger, walked away with that brand new fridge. Wish it was you? Well, it could be your reality this Thursday if you sign up to Buy Smart, but you've got to do it today. Do it right now. No. Absolutely, it's very simple. All you have to do is send hi on WhatsApp to 072-897-6278 and follow the steps or open your camera and scan the QR code to get the link to sign up. Now, browse, uh, buy smart promos and products, upload a photo of your till slip when you buy uh, any Tiger Brands products and then earn points for your purchases. Now, your points can unlock rewards ranging from airtime and fast food vouchers to movie tickets and shopping vouchers. It's quick and easy 
easy and you can sign up on the go. Mm, so don't forget that when you sign up this month, you automatically stand a chance to win those incredible weekly prizes, including, and I'm going to repeat <laughs> this, queen size bed, a fridge. The fridge seems to be the, the big ticket item at the moment, a washing machine or even a smartphone. So let's give you that QR code one last time to sign up. Who knows, it could be you spinning our virtual wheel of prizes this Thursday and walking away a big winner with Buy Smart. But you can find all the terms and conditions that do apply on our website, expressoshow.com. Get rewarded for your shopping choices with Buy Smart. Send hi on WhatsApp to 072-897-6278 and follow the steps. You will stand a chance of winning incredible prizes weekly on Expresso. Cadbury Dairy Milk Glass and a Half Project presents There's a Story in Everyone. Visit cadbury.co.za forward slash story time for more information on how to share your inspirational story. Oh, welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show and we are ushering you into the week and kickstarting your Monday. And whether you're looking for an innovative dish for a meat-free Monday or need a new way to feed your family their greens, this genius broccoli recipe is the answer. And it's proof that the humble brassica is actually a rock star in the kitchen. Now, Willie's no-cooked broccoli and cashew nudie with olive salsa is perfect for this warm weather, kicking us into summer. Mm. And Chef claims showing us what it's all about. What do you know about nudies? Um, it doesn't involve a lot of clothing. Help us. Help us. <laughs> I don't know. What is well, a nudie, man? I have no so idea. A nudie yeah? is actually the filling that would normally go inside a ravioli. The but filling that normally goes in a ravioli. Okay. Yeah, like we love raviolis or full yeah, type yeah, of yeah, pastas. Yeah. But when we take away the pasta and we leave it like just filling on its own, oh. it's called a nudie. So that's like a, like a, a bunless burger, I would imagine, but... No, we'll, we'll find another name for that because that sounds interesting. I, I tried. I know, I like that, I like that. So basically, yeah. just imagine nudie being the ravioli without the pasta on the outside. Okay. Which is absolutely delicious. Normally, it's ricotta cheese, spinach, feta, all this type of like deliciousness, goodies that I love. This time, taste came through with a broccoli version, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. 
I oh, so love... you're actually ticking my health boxes like I didn't even know. We came through, this. that's why you're here. Matching okay. the green with your top. It's all about... Ah, uh, Clem, you know, you, you know how to work me, man. Here we go. <laughs> I love broccoli raw. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing, and we do slaws out of it, and we just like grate it super fine, and we just spice it up. Okay. Broccoli raw is absolutely delicious. It's mm. nice and crunchy, it's fresh. I was gonna say, it is crunchy. It's got like a, I know this might sound crazy, but it's got like a chip type of a texture to it, like that. You know, and you know even, I mean? it's talking about the chip, even if you roast it in the oh. oven, Ooh. it really goes smoky, which I absolutely love. I love it as well, especially those little green like ends, just yeah. like crisp up, and it's the, the goodness. Absolutely, so we hit you with a bit of cashew nuts. Okay. This is gonna give it that nice creamy texture instead of the we're not using ricotta we're using the parmesan the cashew nuts come through and give it a bit of that creaminess that comes through the nudie so we're gonna that's gonna go in there as well as give me some good uh, good essential fats as well yes. as some amino acids as well which is protein good for recovery so again tick in my boxes man there we go <laughs> give it a good blitz so, i want to know if you don't have this incredible it's a KitchenAid, right this is, is a this is a Kenwood. Is it like a, if, you mean like a general like kitchen? Like if I chef. can't push a button and make this happen, what do I do? Look, so hold one second. <laughs> okay, that's a show of you. I had to blitz it up a little more. <laughs> so what I do is like I sometimes just wrap it in like a big clean um, kitchen cloth and just bash the nuts completely oh, and break it down. Like get your energy. Yeah. Just Here we go. Smash it get at it. Get at it. Out. And then I like the broccoli, that. I grate on, a, on the fine side of a grater and then mix it all together. It's going to okay. take a little more elbow grease, but it does come together and it does work. Okay. Okay. Once you've broken up the nuts, then you hit it with the broccoli. And again, these, this is raw. And it works as a raw broccoli dish. I think if it's going to be cooked, it's going to come out a little too mushy. Like so, a, you don't want that sog life, yeah. No, sog life. That crunch going. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Salt coming through. And now we're going to mix it up again. Okay. So you can go like nice and fine on this, but you're basically what you're looking for is a fine breadcrumb. It's such a weird combination mixing these two together. I don't know what to expect, and I'm literally seeing what looks like a breadcrumb type of. You know, here. and that's what you need. You need that. So then, in goes Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, like, it's a bit expensive when you buy it, but if you buy smart, right? So you buy the Parmesan cheese. You don't use all of it. You never, you will never use all your Parmesan cheese. Yeah. And the great, like, it'll actually last for like two months. As an ask you, shelf life on that cheese because that cheese yeah. kind of is like kind of off anyway, isn't it? It's a, like it's, <laughs> it's already I mean? fermented. You know, it's gone through the whole yes, process. Yes, yes, yes. What I do, it's aged, it's aged, aged. Yeah. The word, yes. So I would, I would use it, and I use a microplane, which makes cheese go further because it grates it so fine. So you grate your Parmesan cheese, and then people say, "How do I store it?" I literally just put it back into the fridge. Uncover it, whatever, and the fridge actually dehydrates yes. your, your food, seen whatever's that in there. Before, and it literally starts to look like it's cracking yes. in the fridge. And yeah. that's fine because as it releases, it takes out all the excess moisture. It just intensifies in flavor, so it's amazing. You're so doing you, the right you're thing. Further aging. The yes, okay. in our fridge. Nice, I like okay. that. Last blitz. <laughs> I'm gonna open up my fridge one day and just be like, my fine assortment of You can't talk. Aging. You can't tell the people the importance <laughs> of now while I'm busy wrestling with this thing. What he was basically saying is, you age it further, it becomes amazing, and it's awesome. Thank you, Chef Clem, for my <laughs> subtitles there. <laughs> You look like you're having way too much fun. Too much fun. <laughs> so what, you, what I would do now is I would actually, you can see it started to come together nicely and yes. it started to form a paste. What I would do is I would hit it with um, the lemon juice and lemon zest okay. and that little, a little bit of extra moisture, you can see it's already like starting to form together. The little bit of extra moisture is all it needs to form into a ball. Okay. What I do is I let it sit for a little bit, just give everything a chance to get to know each other. So it doesn't just yeah. rip and crumble Absolutely. into the pot afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to need right. your help now. We're going to make an amazing, you. amazing salsa to go with it. It's olive salsa. Okay. You got everything in front of you? you okay. Yes, Pop I've got... Guy. Uh, my car. ingredients, I'm, sh I'm assuming. Good. Yes. Big, bold flavors. This is a dressing that works absolutely amazing on everything savory. Okay, so you got red onion in there. It's okay. very pungent flavors, strong. Yeah. Green olive, black olive. Because the flavors are different between the two, people don't know that. And they, they, they add different characteristics to the, whatever you use them in. Okay. So you can hit that in there. Parsley, red chili. Chili ah. is amazing. You're coming through with the flamboyancy. I love it. I love it. Just anchovy, you like anchovy? I'm going to do it like this. No, let me not try that wow. one. <laughs> let, let me not try that one. No. <laughs> of course, your chilies, man. Chili. We always know when you're back in the kitchen, yeah. but the chill is coming on. And of course, guys, if you are looking for some recipe inspiration, we're doing a meat free Monday here. And you can check it out on expressoshow.com, of course, where all the inspiration that you need to get that tummy loving you, smiling, and appreciating everything that you've done for it. 
It's all there waiting for you. Expressoshow.com. All right, Chef Kim, you've now made this into a yeah. beautiful little... Uh, salsa, yeah. Salsa? Okay, okay, okay. I some red vinegar to that. Olive oil. The olive oil just brings it all together. I didn't Ooh. add salt because it's very salty for the olives. Ooh, that's anchovies power. in there. Yeah. 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 Anchovies are amazing. We don't eat enough anchovies. They're absolutely amazing. That's all. That, that, this chills, that's amazing over the nudie. That's amazing over chicken, lamb, fish, veggies, absolutely. Okay. How we finish these guys off is, like I said, after sits for a bit, you'll see it all come together perfectly. We shape it into balls, and this is more Parmesan, all right? And then all you gotta do, Oh, you've just like a little coating there. Oh, it's so sneaky. good. It's so good. So this is almost like when you, you normally you normally chuck it in like a breadcrumb or something. You, you, absolutely. Uh, at this point in time, but if you're you going wanted to, actually, I never done. I never didn't think about that. If you wanted to like coat in a breadcrumb and deep fry it. You could. Mm, maybe someone else out there is trying that at home. Let us know, wow. of course, our social, social media channels to see if you can maybe put a little pizzazz on what already is a beautiful nudie. What am I doing here, Chef? You're going to finish pizzazz, a little bit of lemon zest All right. going over the... So I've got to be like stylish with this, wow. right? Wow. <sighs> <laughs> I missed the I, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't sure the camera got that, but you missed the plate completely. I need to work on my cool in the kitchen, man. Wow. Last week, I tried this when you weren't here as well. And wow, okay. I, I, I may be embarrassed our, our front here, but, but 2.0 here, I need to work on my kitchen game for sure. Absolutely, you, but you've you delivered it. for me. You Thank you. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so these are the official nudies that you need, okay? okay? These are the nudies that you need to be trying. None of your other, whatever you said now about the... Why don't you like my nudes? Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> South Africa, I don't, it's, not even, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Ross, I'm already out with these. Okay, okay. These are the nudies you need to be right, trying. Right, Keep right. your clothes on. C can I try one now? Is it please do, cooked? they're is really it, great. All right. the, please try it. Are these a, here we go. And, and, and is it a spoon? Is it a hand? I'm a hands-on kind of guy. Can I just I would go? grab it, yeah. Um, Nicole, please go for it. Like, pick it up just like that and give it a bite. Nicole Sweet. was saying this would make like a really cool, because um, it's um, the low, low in carbohydrates. L Yes. yes. And she's into that right now as Ooh, well. It smells good. It's potent. It's it delicious. It feels like a ball of just mush which yeah. I want to get involved. You so know? let me try this out and see what's happening. People at home, moment of truth. Mm. You take that to gym, you share it with your friends. I'm telling wow. you, you're going to become like everybody's new best friend in the gym. It's packed full of flavor. Oh. It's coming through with sweetness. There's a texture which I'm absolutely loving. Sorry for speaking with a mouthful, but this is just no, too much to it. not talk about. Mm. Chef Clem, thank you very much, man. Nudies on the house. <laughs>
can be challenging giving your skin the right care it needs, especially when winter gets the better of us and having to manage our very dry skin during those dry months. Well, that's why Dexrol's emollient cleansing cream and moisturizer are an appropriate solution for fighting dry skin, especially in season. We're going to chat to, to Christine Brassel from Adcock Ingram OTC about this exciting skincare range that I've put to the test with my own family um, and it really has stood up to that. Christine, very good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Morning. Hi. Nice to be with you again. Always great to connect. Um, I'm going to dive right in. Dextrol offers a combination of cleansing creams and then the emollient creams. What's the difference between an emollient and a moisturizer? Okay, Graham, an emollient is something that forms a layer on your skin. It enhances hydration of the skin as well as softness, smoothness and flexibility. Whilst a moisturizer, this attracts water from the environment and actually absorbs it into the outer layer of the skin. I've been, I've been using the emollient cream on my little bubba and it, it really is amazing. My hands have never looked better way to combat, I think, all of what we've done with hand sanitizers over the last couple of months. Uh, but you've led me to my next question. Dexwell's tagline states, evidence makes us. So what does that mean, evidence makes us? We have 20 years of clinical trials and studies to back this statement. And the results of these trials have shown that Dextrol offers a significant improvement in dry skin conditions associated with atopic dermatitis. Now, one of those clinical trial studies done is the Zera Africa study. I hope I'm saying that right. Can you explain a bit more about what that entailed and why it was so important? Yes. This study was done in seven sub-Saharan countries, and it was done across all age groups of people, starting from young children right through to the elderly. And the results of this study showed that the use of an emollient cleansing cream and moisturizer reduces flare-ups of cirrhosis and associated conditions such as eczema. Wow, and of course, South Africa included in that. Now, considering the South African Absolutely. weather and climate specifically, what makes Dextrol an appropriate cream for people living here in SA? Dextrol is a perfect cream for us South Africans, especially during our winter months. That's when many of us experience dry skin. And also, it's a time when dry skin conditions and flare-ups are most prevalent. So really, using Dextrol on a daily basis helps to keep the moisture in the skin and prevents it from drying out. I think dry skin is a, a pretty common condition suffered by a huge amount of people through all age groups, part of the, the modern human condition. Can you tell us more about the key essential ingredients that go into Dexrol, what it contains and how they work? Yes, certainly. In our emollient, it contains an ingredient called glycerol, and this is something which deeply moisturizes the skin. The other ingredients are soft paraffin wax and liquid paraffin. Both of these prevent moisture loss from the skin. In our uh, Dextrol cleansing cream, this is soap and fragrance free, so it's very suitable for people with sensitive skin. It's also recognized by the Allergy Association of South Africa. And like I say, I really have, I've tested it on my, my family, but I'm going to put it to you. First of all, where can we get our hands on Dextrol? Where is it sold? And is it safe for the whole family to use? Dextrol is absolutely safe for the whole family to use. It can be used even on brand new babies who are suffering with dry skin associated to atopic dermatitis. Where can we get it? Even though it is registered in South Africa as a medical device, this is because of the intensive studies and the results thereof. It is available from your local independent pharmacies as well as clicks and discam stores without a prescription. Just go into your pharmacy and ask your pharmacist where to find it on shelf. Christine, thank you so much for, for taking us through that little mini journey. I understand more about this product that I've been putting to the test, like I say, on my entire family. Absolutely love it. But Christine, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your insights. Thank you. Pleasure being with you. Looks amazing, plus it's available at all leading pharmacies without prescription. And if winter is getting the better of your dry skin and it's not quite let us go yet, you're battling with those dry skin conditions, Dextrol Skin Care's range is formulated specifically to treat your dry skin. Do you have dry skin caused by hand sanitizing? Keep the moisture balance with Dexerol, scientifically proven to restore dry skin. Dexerol, evidence makes us.
Mm. And now as South Africa slowly starts getting back to normal, leaving a wake of challenging times for all South Africans, the month of October will be dedicated to uplifting the spirits of South Africans by spreading a message of hope to all. Absolutely. An initiative by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave, saw the creation of the Hope Tober Bus and its goal is to spread hope and joy through, through the streets of South Africa with the power of song. The idea to dedicate October 2020 as the month of hope for South Africans led to the creation of an initiative by Adcock Engram OTC sponsors of Brave to create an initiative called Hopetober, which is all about encouraging South Africans to look to hope and inspire us all to be kinder to one another. And today we're here at the headquarters of Adcock Engram OTC sponsors of Brave, where the Hopetober bus is right behind me and about to spread love all across the city. To say. Fellow South Africans have to stay at home And lockdown became the way Youth Bureau, and here we are, Hopetober, officially launched at your headquarters here. You've created quite an ambience and it's such a feel-good energy which you're hoping to spread across the country. Tell us about this campaign, Hopetober. What is it? What are you hoping to do with it? Hopetober is about creating hope through the acts of kindness. That is what we are trying to achieve from Hopetober. Uh, when you look at it, we are still in COVID and even though we are easing out of it, it's still very much here. But we're still trying to create hope in various different aspects. From the simple thing as a wave, you could change somebody's day. And what we are trying to do today is take hope through the joy of song. Uh, we're taking the, this to several different hospitals to show, also show appreciation to the healthcare workers who wear our soldiers on the front line against the pandemic. And this is what we're trying to do today. Nicole Kepa, you are well within the feels and the energy of today. How does it feel to be a part of this fantastic initiative by Adco Gangram OTC? Look at this. This is what we should be doing right now. Yes, we're not through the worst. Yes, we have to make sure that we're safe. We follow all the protocols, but we have to make sure we maintain hope. We spread love and kindness. The atmosphere is electric. The people caring for one another. It's so refreshing. Well, you're an ambassador of hope for Adcock Ingram OTC sponsors of Brave. Why is it so important for you to advocate for a message like this? This is a message of pure hope. Adcock Ingram OTC has launched so many initiatives in one year alone that have celebrated journalists, celebrated healthcare workers on the front line during the pandemic and now they're spreading the message of hope throughout the city's streets of Joburg, the streets of Pretoria and even down to Cape Town next week. I'm elated, I'm excited. I think, you know, it's exciting to see great vocalists and to hear messages of hope and inspiration. But when you see the people poking their heads out of those rooms and just, they, just their lives have been changed, you know. Um, the DNA of, of mankind has shifted from COVID and we're pitching up and we're just celebrating everything that is them. Yeah, quite simply, I think music is one of those things that can transcend race, culture, creed, orientation. You know, we've got a selection of proudly South African music. Um, that as any South African out there, you cannot help but be stirred and excited and engaged by what they're going to hear. It's going to speak to them on such an emotional level and it was all about that, hitting that emotion. Sometimes I feel that you really know Yes Sometimes there's so much you Derek, the last couple of months have been so crazy, not just for South Africans, but for the world. But today we are spreading hope and positivity across Johannesburg and showing people that hope does exist and it's possible for all of us. Well, it's Hopetober, isn't it? It is. And um, with Adcock Ingram, uh, ODC sponsors of Brave, and I've been an ambassador for them for a while. We've had great campaigns, uh, world winning campaigns. We thought that it's not that the pandemic is over. We've got 
got something to celebrate because the world is opening up, the country's opening up, but it uh, brings us to individual responsibility. But hope is a very important message and we're doing so, reminding people that yes, the pandemic still exists, but we've still got to be hopeful of what the future holds for us as a nation. Absolutely. Right? The mood is changing slowly, isn't it? I've got my party hat on. And let's face it, the singers on this bus, the performers, the actors, they've had a tough for six months, so it's great for them to get out. So, you know what, it's a winner all round. Thank you so much, Woo! ladies and gentlemen, we love you! It's amazing, I mean, we, we just got together and, and put some songs together, and I kind of had an idea of what I thought we were going to do, but the impact has been um, far more uh, far more emotional and, and, and far greater than, than I anticipated. So we all know they are in these buildings all the time and we know this is going to mean so much. But then you see their faces and their reactions and everything and it just makes all of this even a million times more amazing. For us South Africans, we know our classics and we know what they do to us. They hit those buttons and they bring joy. I mean, look at that. Joy over here, joy over there and come on, joy everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the bus is electrifying it's amazing the wind in my hair you see um, artists we can't afford convertibles <laughs> so hence this is such a pleasure but the energy is amazing it's electrifying the, the sense of unity that's on the bus and what we set out to achieve is quite evident over here everybody's chirpy everybody's happy everybody's driven and we just cannot wait to get to the next venue and the next venue and the next venue and that is awesome What a way to launch an initiative. Hoptober is officially on the road. You guys really did bring the music to life in the most beautiful way and connected with people. Why do you guys think it's so important to spread the message of hope in this way? You know, as, as artists, we are frontliners of the soul, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think we're meeting frontliners who are actually, in, you know, dealing with the medical side of things. And it's just where, just where people who really persevere and push through some stuff meet. And I think there's something in that togetherness that is just so special about initiatives like this. You have to share with me here, why do you think music has this really solid ability to connect people and really pull them into a cause? Well, Music is a language that anybody understands. Everybody understands it. Mm. Um, it doesn't matter what language you're speaking in, yeah. but if it touches you, it touches you. That's the one thing about music. It's a language that anybody and everybody can understand, yeah. and there's no barrier. Oh, and what a day it's been. My spirit is vibrating at maximum capacity. We've gone all across Johannesburg spreading love, joy and hope. And this is just a reminder of what hope, a little bit of hope can do for a nation. We then become absolutely untouchable and it's already in our DNA. All I have to say is give a hope a chance. I certainly feel Uncle Tubbsy's spirit vibrating <laughs> through ultimate capacity. To ult the word he says sometimes, <laughs> but listen, it is uh, an amazing initiative. Great news though for all Capetonians. The Hopetober bus will be in Cape Town tomorrow, spreading hope and joy all over the city. And you will be there to catch in on all of this amazing action. I will indeed. So make sure that you do tune in tomorrow morning for all of the excitement. And of course, uh, Jared Rick is right now about to bring some spiritual upliftment after the break. He is ready with Roderick McKay there on the keys and they'll be making sure that your Monday morning gets off to an even better start mm. than it has already. Imagine a land where the sun shines all year over unspoilt landscapes. Open spaces and pure air revitalizing body and soul. Imagine crystal clear water teeming with marine life. Imagine wild beasts roaming the bush with pride. Imagine friendly people filled with the spirit of Ubuntu welcoming you to explore this magical land, the birth and resting place of Madiba. Wamkelekile in the Eastern Cape, a province that is yours to explore.
happy, happy. Earlier this month. Uh, no, I see it now. Earlier this month, a man of many talents, uh, Jared Ricketts, launched his testimony clothing brand and decided to give away a hoodie to one lucky Expresso viewer if they commented on Expresso's Facebook page, suggesting a song for him to sing this morning. Esmeralda van As from Strandfontein Village was that winner. Okay, Jared will be performing. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Expresso right here on SABC3. Now this morning we continue the feel goodness by uplifting our spirits in song. Now earlier this month, before we go into the music, uh, a man of many talents, many rather, Jared Ricketts launched his testimony clothing brand and decided to give away a hoodie to one lucky Expresso viewer if they commented on Expresso's Facebook page, suggesting a song for him to sing this morning. Esmeralda van As from Strandfontein Village was that lucky lucky winner. Woo! Once again, congratulations to her and you could do the same to ensure that you have a chance of walking away with this incredible hoodie. Now, Jared will be performing alongside um, uh, Roderick McKay, his rendition of the well-liked hymn and song, Great is Thy Faithfulness, as chosen by our competition winner, Esmeralda. Jared away. Jared away. Jared, take it away. We'll do so, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, thy faith. Springtime and harvest, sun 
with yet yeah. another riveting ah. performance. Took us to another place, mm. man. Yeah? I love mm. that. Yeah. Feel really Thank you very much, Jared. And I know that you've got a lot going on on your side as well, so maybe just clue us in on uh, what's uh, on the horizon for Jared Ricketts. Well, so many different things, guys. Um, this Wednesday, the 30th, I'm doing a show called Show Must Go On. It's a virtual concert and tickets are available at Cricket. Obviously, we are celebrating the music of Queen, an iconic Ooh. band that I absolutely love. It's an hour show. Roderick will be there as well. Yeah, He's Roderick. The new yeah. Uh, yeah, so just that as well, and uh, the brand is growing as well. But uh, just another thank you to South Africa for supporting everything that I've been doing and for supporting this guy next to me, this amazing talent, Roderick McKay. Rod the music of Queen, hey? Do you know that song? Uh, Show must go on. I love Queen, and I'm loving the idea of Jared tackling some of those. But they the song, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Could just they, get up and walk out. No, I know. No, the out. show must go on. And the next and line? Then? <laughs> wait, let me ask you this. What, what, what music of Queen do you know? What song of Queen do you know? We are the champions. No time for losers. <laughs> we are the champions, <laughs> my friend. Yeah. 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 What are you high-fiving me? We can't be high-fiving here. I would think Jared's voice. Oh, oh man. man, that's going to be something special. Some of the most iconic stuff. Ah, so we know a, a lot of kids probably a bit stressed, focused on learning at the moment. Mm -hmm. Our matrix are heading towards exam time, yeah. and it can be a very stressful time, yes, but also I think an opportunity for you to shine, to do your best. And we're going to be giving you a little bit later this morning some tips on uh, how to tackle the exam, some study tips. That's in our midday broadcast from 11.30 to 12 today. Absolutely. Anybody want to share some tips? Ryle, what did you, what did you do? <laughs> did I do? What, what do you mean? You remember. Yeah, <laughs> We're talking about your matric exams here. Okay, let's I start think, there. I uh, think you should not take this from me. Um, just don't do what I did. I was the guy that would wake up early hours of the morning and cram the last few <laughs> chapters in. And would be like, I don't think they're going to ask this in the exam. And like, so don't do roulette. what I did. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, that was me every exam, Russian roulette, man. <laughs> then they take out that chapter you didn't study for. Yo, ah. so many times, Kukri. They got me so many times. <laughs> okay, so then make sure that you don't do what Ryle did. Uh, but do tune in at 11.30 for our midday broadcast where we'll be sharing some of those valuable stuff study tips ahead of the exams. But now, another, this is a surprise mm. from Jared Ricketts. He's about to give us one last performance. Take it away, Jared. been part of our South African heritage for over 120 years and wishes you all a happy Heritage Month. Made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.